Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here, and I hope you don't hear the computer in the background, but you probably are, because it's making a lot of noise. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm currently rendering a video while making a video, so I really apologize if you can hear the computer in the background. But, I do have a slight editing computer, and I like to edit on it and stuff. And I'm actually going to make this build before... I'm actually going to upload this build chronologically in order here of money. Um, so the $800 build of these types of PCs will be uploaded in chronological money order, meaning that this is the $600 one, and then the next one is the $800 one, and so forth and so on. The money will increase with the videos. This is a editing PC build. I meant to upload the 800 one already, but I figured I might as well make the 600 one first and upload that first, and then upload the $800 one, which is already already has, has been made. Um, anyways... So, to kick this build off, uh, it, by the way, if you're wondering if you can do $600 with a editing PC, of course you freaking can. I This PC that I have right here was like 500 and it totally can do editing. It makes a lot of noise, though, and I'm going to tell you how you can fix that. So, starting with starting with the CPU, we have a uh, AMD FX 6300 3.5 GHz 6 core processor. I'm saying this really fast because I'm trying to not make this video ridiculously long. Anyways, it's a 6-core CPU, and it's $110 at Newegg, and uh, for $110, it's awesome, man. 6300, 6 cores, uh, it has a turbo of 4.1 GHz, which you might overclock a little bit. You can slightly overclock a little bit with the motherboard that I'm giving, and to fix the noise problem, we do have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo in this build. It is uh, $30 at Micro Center, um, which, by the way, Micro Center does have some uh, delivery products not all of them are in-store pickup uh something that you should know by the way about the cpu is it as of for a limited time it does come with far cry 3 um so you might want to hop on that you never know you might get it uh you might get your far cry 3 blood dragon i don't know if you do any gaming but you know this build actually can do a little bit of gaming and we'll get into that a little bit later but the motherboard is the msi 970 g46 atx am3 plus motherboard it is $80, technically it's $75, but there is shipping. You're getting it from Superbiz, and sometimes they have shipping on their products, which kind of sucks. But anyways, you can do a little bit of overclocking on this board. I wouldn't really make it, uh, recommend it. It has a lot of features and stuff on it, though, and that's why I mainly picked it. If you want to, however, I, I would highly recommend only, like, maybe a 3.6 gigahertz on, like, all cores and... You know, either that or 3.7. I wouldn't really go higher than that. The fan is here, so hopefully your CPU does not make a lot of freaking noise. Because, uh, I don't know, again, if you can't hear it. You probably can hear it if you got headphones on. The, C the, the CPU right now on my computer is making a lot of freaking background noise right now. And again, I apologize for it. But I'm constantly... I'm, I'm rendering a video right now. Uh, anyways... Next up for the RAM is the $53 G-Skill Ares 6 gigabytes. DDR3 600 megahertz uh, memory RAM. Now, something I'm going to quickly point out is that I really recommend that in editing builds you have 16 gigabytes, but to fit the but the fit to to fit the budget, <laughs> we're going to put eight gigabytes in, um, which is generally the standard for a gaming build. Anyways, you're getting this from Newegg, and yeah, for $53, eight gigabytes of RAM is a steal because most of it is like generally $80 or higher. Uh, anyways, moving on. Oh, by the way, it's red. It matches the, you know, AMD. It's red and stuff. Yeah, anyways, uh, <laughs> unfortunately that gets broken by the GPU, but we'll get into that after we talk about the hard drive, which the hard drive is a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda, 7200 RPM, internal hard drive. Uh, it is also $80, and it is at Amazon. And, um, the reason I recommend 2 terabytes is because in an editing computer, over time, you're going to consume a lot of memory. I'd actually, I'd actually consider getting another 2 terabyte hard drive, or even possibly more, depending on how much editing you're going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, and video making and all that other junk, whatever you like to do as an editor. Uh, next up we have the Zotac Geoforce GTX 650 2GB video card running at $132, uh, again from Superbiz, no shipping. Um, the reason I pick Zotac is because they're generally cheaper and they give you a nice cooler with a lot of power. People seriously need to look up Zotac a lot more and just buy their products a ton more. They're a really great company that is overshadowed by companies like MSI and Asus and uh, all those other big time companies and Gigabyte, all that other stuff. They get overshadowed by the big time companies when really they have a ton of performance on our great GPUs. I mean, seriously, like look them up on Newegg. 
they get a lot of good reviews. It's awesome. Uh, they're a great company. Next up is the NZXT Source 210 Elite Black ATX Mid Tower Case for $50 from Newegg. This is a really popular case. Uh, case. Again, I'm going to point this out. I picked the Elite version because it is toolless and you don't have to spend time unscrewing shit and repeatedly needing to just be bothered by all that junk and it's just annoying. You know, it's just very, very annoying <laughs> to have to unscrew everything. I personally enjoy toolless designs. Um, and yeah, the other thing that I like to really enjoy, by the way, is the power supply. It is a modular Corsair CX 430 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular ATX power supply. That is a really long name, and this is $45 at Micro Center. Um, this build on PC Part Picker is apparently the estimated wattage is roughly 268 watts. This is more than enough to power your build. Unfortunately, I would recommend a, another GPU, uh, possibly if you wanted more GPU power, if you're going to do gaming and editing on this, actually, um, then I would recommend that. Unfortunately, I don't think that this motherboard supports SLI. Um, so if you want me to, just post in the comments below if you want an AMD card for uh, Crossfire and let me know, and I will try and recommend a Crossfire uh, able um, AMD card, uh, that is around the same price as this 650. Anyways, the last part, and I'm actually including it because most editors ch tend to use actually, uh, actually tend to use their disk drives for like, you know, programs that they have possibly actually bought and not gotten for free off the internet. But anyways, um, the Asus, I'm not even going to try to pronounce all of that. The DVD or CD slash CD writer, uh, disk drive is 1698. You're getting it from Outlet PC, which is the, this is the only thing you're getting from Outlet PC, which is I, I find it kind of funny. The reason that I get stuff from all these different stores is I try to get the best bang for your buck. These things are cheap at these specific areas. So if you don't like, unfortunately, buying things from different places, your 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 build is probably going to go over the amount that this is which the total amount for this build is $560.89 plus tax and stuff it might go up a little bit higher but you know it's in the $600 area and unfortunately if you try to buy them all at one specific place, like especially Newegg, um, the price is definitely going to go up. I'm not saying Newegg is bad. They just they tend to have more expensive prices sometimes. Sometimes they do have cheaper prices. If you didn't notice, most some of these, actually a, a good amount of these, uh, are from Newegg because they had the best option in terms of price. Anyways, guys, that's the build. Expect the $800 editing PC build to come next, and after that, a $1,000 build, actually. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. And remember, stay sexy. Peace.